We are joined by the hottest menage a trois in showbiz. Sizzling celeb number one ate so much yesterday, he's now part man, part turkey with a little chip of lata. It's the brilliant Bob Morton. Yes! He is handsome, and to tell us a bit more about Bob is someone who knows him better than his own barber. Bob Mortimer is a 42-year-old ex-Russian cosmonaut who is solely responsible for bringing back the doublet and hose into standard British wear. <laughs> In the middle of the showbiz menage Troyes is a woman who ate so much yesterday it took a small crane to winch her into the heavy goods vehicle that brought her here today. It's Ulrika Johnson! Yeah. Ulrika Johnson is the Swedish princess with bombshell looks and a middle leg. And bringing up the rear, as we like to normally, in this showbiz trinity, is a man who ate so much yesterday that the only way we could get him here was to chop him into small pieces and reassemble him in the studio. Unfortunately, we got group four to deliver him, so all we got was his pancreas. <laughs> it's Mick Reeves! Hey. Mick Reeves is a cocky dick who thinks he knows everything about everything. On daytime, you know, don't he's a burking ninny, that's what he is. He's anything fan ruddy tastic. <laughs> now, you know the way it is come Christmas, TV presenters across the land have a few too many cherries. It's Boxing Day, and what better Christmas present could a girl like me wish for than a company of a couple of comedy genii? So please put your hands together, your feet together, or anything else that, quite frankly, is flappable for Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer. <laughs> <laughs> cracking cardies, if I may say. There's a bevy of cracking cardies going Don't on here. Except for mine. Except Yours is just highly no, flammable. It's nice, it's nice though. Yeah. Good yield, by the way. Good yield. 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 Good it's, it's potatoes and lager. <laughs> potatoes and lager. Potatoes and lager. Are we really eating it? Then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I am not yesterday. I don't know if I can. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. You have that. There you go, my loves. Tuck right in. You really oh, do me. Oh, it doesn't taste quite like it should. No, it's <laughs> really nice. You have that. Yeah. Oh my God, it's really. Well, nice. you know that one, do you? Yeah, have yeah. that. It's delicious. Lads, how are your Christmases? Good Christmas. Yeah, great. Thanks. That was yours. <laughs> no, yeah, really good. Is this real? Yeah. It's real food cooked in our real kitchen. I'm really enjoying it. Did you take your bra off, Ulrika? May I? No. You would know if I'd taken my bra off. I just How heard something you know? reflating, I presume. There would be no room on either side of my chair. That's Get away. I bet you've got lovely boobs. <laughs> she's got a cracking. She's got a cracking. Great set, I think, probably. So what's you? Have I? <laughs> They're mediocre. No, mediocre that's rack. Fine. Don't, don't, don't knock them. <laughs> I try not to, they, they bruise easily. Ulrika, have you got a big fridge? <laughs> I want a 50s fridge. Have you, yeah, I bet you've got yeah, a 50s yeah, fridge. Yeah, yeah. Sort of American. I'd like one of those. 1850s Absolutely. or 1950s. <laughs> <laughs> My fridge is not designed. Mine does too. But on your Let's command. get together and have a big party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting back to this Chrissy theme, what would you be your ideal present have been? I wanted to, uh, in fact, I got some edible knickers. Oh, they're brilliant. What do they taste like? Paper pans. That was a big disappointment. We tied them with spuds. <laughs> were awful. You boiled them up, didn't you? Yeah. You boiled them up with his grains, but the thing was, they were mine. <laughs> My edible knickers, but they weren't actually uh, edible. I've seen your pants. Have you? Uh. Where? Have you ever eaten his pants, though, more No. Oh. Chill and simmer. It's Christmas. Okay. No. What did you get, Ulrika? I'm trying to think. A lady shave. <laughs> Come on, think. Think. I had an egg. You had an egg for Christmas. That's a Swedish thing. My or son just a gave present? me an egg. Gave you an egg? Mm. What kind of boiled egg? A boiled egg. Oh. How did you painting Did he lose his memory on Easter? Who <laughs> <laughs> was underneath the mistletoe with you this Christmas? Oh, no, oh, go on. Oh, 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 beneath the mistletoe with me this Christmas was a little robin. <laughs> into the robin house. who? Yeah, that's a little robin. Tiny little thing like that. With one bad eye. <laughs> and, uh, good I, snogger just, or bad snogger? Not very good. A bit pecky. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's full of beans. He's snogging this Christmas. It was um, the mistletoe branch. <laughs> oh, I didn't talk anymore, but who would I have liked to have? Yeah, yeah go on. Oh, well, I'm going to have to say Michelle Pfeiffer because she's lovely. Yeah, she's, she's a babe, yeah, she's, she's nice. 
Is she I, still alive? I don't know. <laughs> I would have liked to have snogged John Noakes, probably. Well, Mel, he did fondle your buttocks. He did. Good ass, One hand it? on each buttock, lads. I kid you not, like this. Do you have a boyfriend, Mel? Um, yeah, kind of. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Whenever I watch a show, I wonder, I wonder if they have boyfriends. Do you have a boyfriend, sir? Sometimes, yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. In a kind of sometimes way. It's an answer sort, isn't it? Yeah. You know. <laughs> I love Christmas. Isn't Christmas great? Christmas is beautiful. I like Christmas, Does yeah, it fall on the same beautiful. day in Sweden? We celebrate it on Christmas Eve. Oh, mm -hmm. isn't that sweet? But I celebrate it. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like, though, being... Because you're both um, comedy dads now, aren't you? Yeah. What's it like being a dad at Crumbo, then? What, what's that like? Well, we all gather around where the piano used to be. <laughs> and imagine songs being sung. Hang Mine's quite young, so I put them in a manger and, you know, brought, really brought Christmas to life this year. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get in scraps with each other, like we three, working together? Or yeah, on... really bad ones. Do you fight? <laughs> Do you mix about? Do you get starry? Do you have tantrums? No, not really. I don't think oh, you do Rika, it, don't you, Rika? Breaks into our dressing room. You do a bit. I don't. You do. I you don't. You do. You say, get off my hat, Bob. Because <laughs> you're sitting on my head. I must have more hairspray. I'm not going to say another word until I have more hairspray. Does she? Yeah. Ulrich? What, what, like what are they like, Ulrich? Yeah. What are they like? Um, <coughs> Jim's all right. He's just like, he just thinks, you think you know everything, don't you? Yeah. All right. What's the capital of Chile? Edinburgh. Yes. <laughs> it's easy, wasn't it? <laughs> and Bob, you're just weird. Really? How do you mean weird? Like a wizard? <laughs> a warlock. A warlock. Oh, I wish. You're a warlock. Oh, I wish. That's what I would want in for Christmas, a warlock kit. Same here. John Noakes dressed up as a warlock. <laughs> right, we're going to put our crackers now. But, crack. uh, they're crackers with a difference, because inside each is a personal horoscope done for you by Russell Grant, and that is the truth. Is this yours? Ravishing yeah, this Russell is Grant warlock. really did your horoscope. So I put it's real one. in there. Yeah. Got to put each other's, Bob. Hey. Shall we? Yeah. Oh, that way. Put each other's. Hey! That's that yours. One's yours. That one's yours. I don't know. Would you like oh, to pull me up I'll put your cracker. That's good. Hey! Very good. Right, what does it say, lads? Is that better? Good, good, and good, 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 good. Oh, you're good and hard. God damn it. Good, good and hard. That's... <laughs> good and hard. <laughs> good and hard. <laughs> good and hard. That's your 98, Vic. Thanks to Saturn bringing you in and giving you a serious edge. You ambitious ram. <laughs> Steady, Russell. As you're about to show another side of your character, one very different from your usual role. Don't curb that hidden urge. You're going to play Hamlet. I sense it. Hey, Ulrich, right what does yours say? Um, have you ridden in the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach? Because that's what life's like in the coming year. <gasps> Passion, jealousy, desire, sexy obsession. That's so what's new, huh? Hide your bobble hat, Bob, preferably in the cellar. It will link you to a terrible crime. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you express your sensitive self, and this will be the year you become a single mum at last. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Barry Grant. Yeah. Barry Grant did that. That wasn't the real one. Do you want the real one in case yeah, it's important for oh, your I thought scripts? that was the real one. No. Sorry. Hide your soft centre, Bob. Hide your soft centre, Bob. You're just a super squidgy Germanian baby. Germanian? Germanian. 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 Yeah, me too. Stay as sweet as you are, a new incredible individual will emerge. Wow. From well, within, like alien. That is like so helpful, <laughs> I thought it was joking, Can I read it? Yeah, out? yeah read, go read, a on, read a joke. Where do ghosts go at Christmas? Spook Kitty. <laughs> no. <laughs> no way, man. I think it should be, though. They go to a phantom mine. Why should you serve duck on a steel plate? Because. It might quack. They quack China! Hey! What do you give underfed pixies? Elves. Elves. Self-raising flower. Elf-raising flower. Elf raising flower. Elf raising flower. <laughs> <laughs> what did the cracker say when it was told a tall story? Oh, crack off. It's <laughs> <laughs> a place in Poland. Crack off and Warsaw. 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 Pull the other one. Kay. Right now, it's time for... Do you want to move on, on, then? It's time yes. for a seamless link. So now that we've pulled our crackers, join us for part three, which we promise will be a cracker. Three. <laughs> Vic and Bob. Vic and Bob will be doing their part of Chris, don't. proudly showing off their chocolate logs and telling us how to make one. <laughs> See you in three. Hit it, big boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, log, assemble.
Go! Okay, well, we're here to assemble a chocolate log, isn't that right, Craig? Yes, the first thing we need is the spatula. That's right, and we're going to remove the fork because it's dangerous near chocolate. We all know that. Right. You should have known that too. Sorry, it's an error. I'm sorry. Uh, Serve one out there, I'm sorry. So what have we got here then, Bob? What's this thing here? This grease proof. And on the grease proof? proof it's a log. It certainly is. This, I presume, is some kind of sponge, Chris. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so, right? Curriculum vitae. Yeah. Okay. Shall I just cut out the middleman, literally? And then right. You can okay, stand but there now, let's just imagine that we've smeared it. Don't scrape it. It's not a lady's face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. That filled me with pain this and horror. This is a that. sponge. What I'd like you to do, Chris, is place the chocolate on the sponge, forming the heart of the log. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Start at the west end of the log. <laughs> For good luck. The glittering it. west end. And then we take another piece and we put that right on the edge, on the cliff-hanging edge of the eastern Now, end. Chris, I know whenever you're cooking items like this, you like to give us an interesting factor about your materials. Tell us, what is chocolate? Well, this is basically dog dirt. <laughs> <laughs> and come again? Can I ask you that one again? <laughs> so, Vic, what exactly is chocolate? Well, I don't know, but I dig it out of something. Right. <laughs> I've actually been digging holes in the uh, garden. Deep, deep holes throughout the Christmas period. Yeah. And I've thoroughly enjoyed the time I've spent doing it. And you got but what do you do with the soil when you've dug the holes? When do you do true. it? You bury it in another hole or you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so and this is basically log. what the residue that comes out of the holes after you've eaten it and reburied it. I can't wait Thank to Thank you, in. Vic. Put it in the centre as well, Vic. Spread right, it about. Okay, you know, good idea. Do you remember that time we. Uh... Hold, stop holding my hand as you do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're cooking with a ring on. Yeah. Which often happens on this show, if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> there they are. I'm I'm, I don't know if you can see, but I'm spreading it evenly. Yeah? Deep and crisp and even. Okay. Just checking. Can you check us that fork? I want to test something. Yeah. Or okay. to you. Sorry. <laughs> Just a little joke. Would like some? Yeah, I want some of that. Thanks. Now you roll it up, Rick. Roll it away from you, right? I'll do this myself Imagine... because I know you're very bull-fisted. Imagine the salt cellar's a beautiful lady. Yeah. So I'm starting to roll okay, now. Rolling towards her. I don't know if you can see that. She's not impressed at the moment. There it goes. There it is. Now, isn't that lovely? Isn't that fantastic? That's a great greaseproof log there. There you go. <laughs> like a haggis now. There it is. Just a second. Can I just see? How much does that weigh? <laughs> what does it weigh? About the same as a couple of crash helmets full of sugar. <laughs> Decorate the log. There we are. Do you reckon one here as well? No. Or is that gilding the lily? Well, it's looking good. I thought it would make it a real treat. Let's make it look like the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, stop. Well, she's going down. <laughs> there you go. I think oh, I've done that right. It's not very good. I feel we've let you down. No, I think oh, that's, that's frankly the best dessert I've ever seen. And that's the Titanic. <laughs> now it's time to have another look back. Back, back, way back many centuries ago. Today's when computers were unheard of. And VDU was something you could catch in the Merchant Navy. <laughs> and a mouse was a cheap alternative to turkey at Christmas. It still is. Hey, no. It's moments like that that make you realise you watch the show simply for the cooking. Hey. How's, how's the chocolate log, Ricky? Check the slog. I don't slog. know, but they haven't taken out the... No, it's as, it's as there. made by yeah. the yeah. box. Well, it's it's you can eat round it, Ulrike. What is this? It doesn't really huh? do is it this right? Can you eat this paper? Or is it, oh, okay. it non-edible? Lads, it's Boxing Day, and Boxing Day, for me, is one thing, and one thing only. What's that? It's party tricks. We know you can all do party tricks. We want to oh, see no. your party tricks in action. All right, Vic, you go first, my love. First party trick. First party this trick. This is a, a quality street. Cigarillo. Yeah. A quality street length. The longest of the quality streets. <laughs> the longest and most slender. God, Which he camera? is so boring. Just do the thing. <laughs> I Which didn't camera? think it was boring. I like that. And that's my presentation. Go yes, go on. Give us a trout. <laughs> Which, <laughs> Which camera is that? Is? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll now make the longest and slenderest of the uh, quality streets disappear. He'll never do it. Go on. Can I have a drum roll, Dylan? Lovely. Ulrika's trick, your party trick, Ulrika. I can show you my belly button. Yes. Go on, then. Do that. Trick. We've seen it. We've seen it. We've seen it. Yes. Lovely. Oh. Oh. Now, Bob, your party trick. <laughs> Ulrika! Bully! <laughs> now, your party trick. I'm going to attempt That's to... That's where those old herrings went. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to attempt to... Uh, 
to, to uh, peel an egg in one, but it's going to take a long time. In one what? Just in one piece of shell. Of course you can't. You've already cracked it. Oh, so. can't I? Well, just I think watch. you can. Okay, come on, Dylan, drum roll, please. And hold on, hold on. Come on, you beauty. <laughs> so, man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's too nervous. <laughs> drum roll, Dylan, please. Yeah! yeah! Yeah, one. it was one. And one inside the egg Wait is for it. a tiny little baby eye. Oh. <laughs> I love boiled eggs. They give me nourishment at Christmas. Superb. <laughs> and a fantasy at Easter. <laughs> <laughs> right, now Christmas apparently just wouldn't be Christmas without a party game. So we had a good old think about what to play. Sadly, we had a very awkward moment when in rehearsals Mel thought we were playing naked charades and the crew thought we were playing pin the tail on the donkey. It was painful. <laughs> so we decided on a game that both encompasses our desire to pay homage to our favourite round on Shooting Stars and is also pretty darn festive. It is not the duff from above, it is the quirky turkey from Albuquerque whose past is a little bit murky from just over there. The quirky turkey from Albuquerque whose past is a little bit murky from over there. Ladies and gentlemen, please oh, use the Ooh. gift of the gobble. Gobble, it's gobble. It in. <laughs> in the gizzard, there is an egg. If you pick out an egg, it relates to something festive. So read. Ah! Sorry, he has biting in it. Do you know what? Do you know that thing where you put your hand inside something and then it forms a fist to get hold of the egg and you can't actually remove the fist? <laughs> That's how I'm experiencing that now. Are you trapped within the turkey? I'm going to have to use a fork. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Okay. Got it. What does it say? Prickly bush. Prickly bush. Name prickly this bush. prickly bush. Okay. Hello there. Name my hit that was number one in the Guinness Book of Records top 100 hits of all time. The prickly bush. Okay. He's on the phone. Ring. He's live. Uh, uh, Shush! Frankie goes to Hollywood. Yeah. Um, uh, Listen to it. Um, what? Oh, is that his chin? Yes, it was Jim. Yes. Was Jim. Was Jim. I was listening to his voice. Who was it and what was the tune? Prickly Bush. Prickly Bush. Holly. Ho got Holly Johnson. Goes to Hollywood. Yes. Holly Johnson. It was Holly Johnson. Relax, don't do it. Don't do Excellent. it. Excellent. So, one wow, point. Wow, 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 wow. Correct. Okay. Correct. Holly, how are you doing, by the way? Uh, I'm very well, thank you. I've oh. just had a wonderful Christmas. Oh. Excellent. Oh. Did you go anywhere nice? Um, no, but I had a marvellous goose. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> It's always the best part of Christmas is a goose, oh, I find. Happy New Year, Holly. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Take Bye. it easy. Where is he? Oh, we can. He's gizzes. in the ether. Hand up the gizzes. He's in the ventilation system. See if you can do it. You've got thin hands, though. You're jiggling the eggs, I sense. Uh, creepy green thing. Creepy green, green thing. thing. Right. I Name know. this creepy green thing that plays havoc with your brickwork. A weaker zit and bob. It's Ivy! <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was there to hobnob. With you, Mel and Sue, and your lovely band, too. But I'm afraid I've been out on the grog. Who was it? Who was it? It was, it? It was um, Ivy Tilsley, but I don't know her real name. We had her on the show. A.K.A. Okay. Lynn Perry! Day. Happy Boxing Day to you. Yes, Do you get I've good food? Don't drink anything. I'm over flu, so I'm just re resting a bit. Okay. <laughs> bye. Take care. See ya. Bye, bye, love. Bye, bye. Bye. Okay. Mine says Christmas Carol. I'm right. ready to receive the audio. Okay, receive the audio on this. Can you name this Christmas Carol? Jingle balls, jingle balls, jingle all smiling. the way. No. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one horse when a fierce sleigh. Oh, and don't is forget it? the baby seat. It's Carol Smiley! It's Carol Smiley! Hi, Carol, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Congratulations on your baby. Oh, thank you. Happy Christmas. Hi, Carol! <laughs> Hello, love. Hey. How are you? I was going to do a fake accent to see if you could guess who it was, but... Um, that is a like fake me. accent. The, the Scottish kind of broke through there, Carol, it but don't you worry. worry. Well, Carol, have you got your next-door neighbours to, to decorate your nursery for you? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> Definitely no? Not. You wouldn't let him in? I wouldn't let the crew in. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, thank you for calling. Have a great day. Have a lovely new year. Thank you, Carol. There's another one, isn't there? Quick, quick, quick. Wise man. Wise man. Wise man, right. Okay. Who is this wise man? Okay, right. Which one is it? A little uh, Christmas cracker joquette coming up. Have you seen any reindeer last night? No, but I did see some drizzle deer. <gasps> it's Gordon. Gordon Burns! <laughs> Hello, Gordon. Hello, Gordon. Gordon's 
a granddad. Aren't you? are not allowed to say that on television. Oh, I'm so sorry. But you're a lovely granddad. Oh, well, thank you, because I, I find right, great admiration. All right, Gordon's a murderer. <laughs> the male public no, adored me because I can say I sat beside Ulrika on the programme and scored. Now hey. you're hey. 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 Good now man. Good man. Good man. Good well, gag. We should have had some more. Cheers, Gordon. Thanks, thanks a lot. Have a good year. Goodbye. Bye bye. bye. Scores are as follows: Bob nil, Vic half, Ulrika ten. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It breaks my heart to say it, but it is literally the end of the show. So all that's left is to say a huge thank you to, uh, to, to you, to you for joining us. Thanks also to Ulrika for Kerr Kerr cooking. And thanks to Vic and Bob and Ulrika for being such Dream Boxing Day guests. We'll see you at the usual time of 12.30 here on Channel 4 on Jan the 5th. But first, what sort of Christmas show would this be if we didn't get up and get down and dance like him bouncing on?